Well, it's Inktober, so I've got to do something in ink. And you know what? I am going to inaugurate a brand new sketchbook. I know. I've never finished a sketchbook. I've got dozens. I will. I will someday. But I got a good reason this time. I got a good reason to start a new sketchbook. And we'll talk about that. And I got a brand new ink. A handmade ink. Let's go take a look. Well, hello, minders. Welcome back to the Mind of Watercolor. So what do we got going on today? Well, I have this bottle of walnut ink. This is handmade walnut ink. Isn't that cool? Isn't that a cool bottle? It's like uh, sealed with wax and a cork. And so I thought we'd do a pen and ink today uh, with a dip pen. It is Inktober after all. Now, I don't uh, get into the prompts very much. I like seeing other people do it, but I don't have time to follow through with the whole challenge. So I usually just, oh, I'll do two or three things maybe during the month. And I do love having the emphasis be on ink and being able to, like, dedicate a month where I think about ink and ink and pen and ink processes. So we're going to try out this ink. It's probably fairly water-soluble, so I don't know whether I'll be using any watercolor with it. We're going to test that before I start drawing. Let me pick out a dip pen here. These are dip pens that I have made, and yes, I will eventually be selling these. I know it's like I've been saying that forever, but uh, it's like I get started on the project and I have to divert to something else. But bit by bit, I'm getting some prototypes that I love. So that's all I'll say about that. One day, I'll have these for sale. This is what I'm thinking of using for reference. And I just want to do maybe a portion of it uh, along with the stone wall. I'm not sure, but uh, I'm, I'm not going to do a whole lot. I want to do a fairly simple piece just to try out this ink. And I'm not sure the best way to open this. I don't really want to cut the cork, so let me move my iPad. I don't want to spill ink on it. We go to a Revolutionary War reenactment event. I should say an 18th century reenactment event because it's not solely about the Revolutionary War, but they have a lot of craftspeople and artisans, and they do do some uh, military demonstrations. And a guy was selling this, and so I had to give it a try. I actually have some other walnut ink, but I know that this is black walnut ink and it was handmade. So, you know what? I'm wondering if the cork. I don't know if there's any sediment with walnut ink. I'm not seeing any. This is a Zebra G nib. And let's just see what we got here. I'll dip it way in there. Dip pens can be a little messy. All right, what about a sketchbook? I'm going to get a sketchbook. I think what I want to do is initiate a new sketchbook. <laughs> Never done that before. So uh, really the reason is because this is a hot press. And last year, Etcher started making perfect sketchbook in hot press. And this is the signature series. So I want a smooth paper. I think this would be a great one. I believe that this is either the 2021 or the 2022. And they have just come out with 2023 signature series. And they are limited. So if you're interested, make sure you get one before they're gone. Oh yeah, this is nice. Super nice. So let us inaugurate this sketchbook with some pen and ink. Now here's what I want to test. Um, is the water solubility. There is some. So I'm going to use that, but I, it's also great to know that the marks, the ink marks, do not get completely obliterated. So if I keep scrubbing at it, it does lift. There you can maybe see a little better. I think it's important on a dip pen, at least it feels like it to me, to use watercolor paper. Because uh, dip pens, usually if you do something that's coated or has a sort of a surface, it's slow to, to sink in or soak in. 
and that's just frustrating when you're waiting for globs of ink to dry on the surface. So I like to use fairly thirsty paper, which is typically watercolor paper. Actually, I'm going to flip to the back. I do this with a lot of sketchbooks. I flip to the back page. See how this particular specific paper reacts. Ideally, I would want it to soak in really quick, which it seems to be doing. So I think we're in good shape. Pretty happy with that. Let's do some drawing. It's always a good idea to keep a scrap handy when you're doing this so that you can start your pen. Let me pull up my reference. I took this picture um, as reference, but I, th I think I'm just going to kind of make up what I want to make up based on what I see here. I want to get a little of the wall in. I want to get the vine as it, you know, some of it as it goes up and then kind of crawls along the top of the wall. But my composition, I'm going to kind of make up. And because I'm going to make it up, I think that I can just go in directly with ink. Uh, that's what I'm going to do anyway. I'll shake this up again, just in case. Doesn't seem to need it, but can't be too sure. All right, let's start over here. And I'm just going to... I'm going to start with with a foreground vine and then just work my way back. It's a very watery ink, I'm noticing. Potential for it dripping is great. But hey, if it does it, it does it. I'm going to hold it this way because sometimes on an angle, dip pins uh, will not flow unless they're pointed downward. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, that was pretty cool. I really like this sketchbook. I like the smooth paper. I really am anxious to do some more in that with both pen and ink and watercolor. And the ink is great. It's a little watery. If you want to see more of this kind of content, here's a video you could watch. Thanks, everyone. Thank you so much, patrons, for supporting this channel. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.